another week of our exercise physiology videos. This month we're talking about exercising while injured and we're using me and my fractured foot as a bit of a case study. Last week we discussed one of the ways of keeping active while injured is to train the unaffected areas. For example, training your upper body when your lower body is injured and vice versa. Today I'm going to be going through the importance of maintaining your aerobic fitness while you're injured. As you may know from some of my videos earlier this year, National Physical Activity Guidelines recommend at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity each week for general health benefits, with moderate intensity indicating activity that makes you build up a little bit of a puff, but you can still hold a conversation. Alternatively, they recommend at least 75 minutes of vigorous intensity exercise, which is exercise that makes you puffed and more difficult to hold a conversation. So because of the usual ways of exercise uh, that make me puff, such as walking or jogging or full body loading exercises, they're a bit hard for me to do at the moment, so I've had to get a little bit creative. So when I go to the gym, I can still use a rowing machine or a stationary bike without too much issue. So that's been really helpful. However, if that wasn't possible, I'd look to do some high intensity interval training at home. So this could look like doing movements repetitively for short bursts of time with a shorter rest and then repeating that exercise. So such movements could include things like boxing or seated movements or core exercises. So to summarize this video, there are still ways to maintain your aerobic fitness while you're injured. You might just have to get a little bit creative. So tune in next week as we look at more reasons why it's important to exercise while injured.